Good morning, grade tens, and welcome to what is hopefully, hopefully, hopefully my last online video with you. Hopefully that the next time I see you will be on Monday or Tuesday next week, and that while today is Wednesday the 15th of July, you have already handed in gate assignment three on verbs at the gate today, and hopefully we get to see each other early next week. Concerning gate assignment three on verbs, you've handed it in at the gate. I will be looking at it and handing it back to you when I see you next week, which hopefully will be either on Monday or on Tuesday, depending on what group you are in. And then please remember that if you are in group A, your surname is from A to L, and you will come back, and Monday should be day three. So you can pack your bags according to a day three timetable, and then we will see you if your surname is A to L. If your surname starts with M to Z, you will be in group two, and then we'll see you on Tuesday, and that will then be day four. All right, so that then is the... Um, assignment that you handed in at the gate this morning on the 15th of July and then at the same time you received this assignment which then is your um, gate assignment four and notice how neatly I scratched that out and it's now an adverbs we did verbs in the last week We did verbs in the last week and now this week we're going to look at adverbs and there are a few adjectives in between as well. Again, your work must be neatly presented on A4 paper with your name at the top of every page, please. Guys, at this stage I'm not marking work if it looks like slap dash trash. You can at least take a pair of scissors and cut it out neatly at the top if it's torn ugly out of your notepads. Really? Be proud of your work, grade 10. Then you need to rewrite the whole sentence. Okay, there isn't a paragraph here. Um, filling in the answers and please remember to underline your answer that you are filling in. Please remember to clearly indicate who your English teacher is. So those three instructions are not negotiable. Then, the actual work, it asks you please to identify the adverbs, remembering that adverbs add meaning to verbs, adjectives and other adverbs, identify the adverb in these sentences. So you're going to write down, I surfaced very quickly, and then you're going to underline the adverb in there. So I surfaced very quickly, what is your adverb? Um... I was trembling inside, I was inside, doesn't make sense, I was trembling, does, but you are then describing the trembling, so inside will be underlined. All right, then look at choosing adverbs. There is correctly insert adverbs from the box below into the spaces provided in the sentences that follow. The small child was sobbing after the accident. Now you have to choose a word. I don't think you can say the small child was bravely sobbing. No, that's rubbing. Rather go with the small child was sobbing, maybe hysterically after the accident. Have a look and see which of these words fit in perfectly there. Then go on to the next one, which is form adjectives to adverbs. Change the adjectives into the brackets, uh, in the brackets into adverbs. The waitress clumsy poured the coffee. The waitress clumsily. The flag flew majestically. Check your spelling with this exercise, eh? All right, grade tens, then. Um, substituting adverbs. Replace the words in italics with adverbs. The first letter in each answer has been given to help you. Now remember, you write out the whole world, and then you give your answer. Um, let's do number two. 
He fell asleep without delay. He fell asleep immediately. Um, let's do number five. Not long ago, he had been in prison. With other words, recently. But you have to write out the whole sentence and then underline the word that you're placing it with. Um, changing adjectives into adverbs. Change these adjectives into adverbs. Make sure you, your adverbs are spelt correctly. So yeah, you'll go with silent becomes silently, sincere becomes sincerely. Make sure your adverbs are spelt correctly. And then your word forms, your word forms, rewrite the following sentences, changing each of the itali oh, italicized words into its correct form. Violently gales or forecast. Now, if you've been watching the news, you know that there are violent gales forecast for the moment. In the Eastern Cape, we've seen terrible storms. A steadily breeze was blowing. No, a steady breeze was blowing. All right? Um, so you can do that one for me. And then you will hand it to me on the 20th of July, which is on Monday when you come back to school. And if for some reason we don't see each other on Monday, you know it gets handed in on the 22nd. All right. That is the, the assignment for today. What I want us to just quickly discuss, please, grade tens, is when you come back to school on Monday, if you have not registered, you will still have to register, and then you will just pay your 130 Rand for your masks, please. Can I ask you to bring the correct amount of change so that I don't have to worry with issuing you with change? simply just because it makes it a lot more um, easier not to, to spread our, the virus amongst us if you've got to carry around change that you don't know where it comes from in your pocket all day. Then you will come through and you will move immediately to your register classes. I will put on every group where your registered teacher can be found. Remember that some of the classes' venues, teachers' venues have changed. So don't let that get you down. You just go to wherever your class was, um, wherever the new venue is for your, your registered teacher. That won't have changed at all. Also remember, please, grade 10s, that we follow a normal timetable, the timetable that we got in January, that we followed the whole of the first term. So you can follow that. And then... Um, Remember that when you come back, it will probably be day three. And with day three is a Monday. So on a Monday, we all get to wear our grey masks. So you'll come to school if you have a mask with your grey mask on. And if you don't have your mask yet and you're going to buy them on Monday, then you put your grey mask on as soon as you get it. All right? And then... We will start with day three for group one. Then group two will be day four on Tuesday. Please don't make the mistake of thinking that you come to school every second day. It doesn't work that way. Remember that we work according to cycles. So day one or cycle one, group one will come to school on days one, three, and five. And group two will come on days two, four, and six. But then we swap the cycle, and then suddenly, whereas group one was on day one, three, and five, they now are on days two, four, and six. Why do we swap it? Because say now you have, in, on day one, you have a double lesson for science. But on day two, you only have a single lesson for science. That means we have to make sure that both group one and group two get to have the double lesson on a day one. So we don't just repeat the cycle endlessly. We give each group an opportunity to have day one, three, and five, and then the next cycle to have group day two, four, and six. 
So it is confusing, but as soon as you're back at school, it'll be so much easier. I cannot wait any more grade 10s. Please make sure when you come to my class, you bring your language book with all your work completed. You bring your literature book with your finders keepers up to chapter 7 in your book and then 10 to 18 in the pack provided. Make sure you bring your work with you when you come to school. Please, great teams. And then enjoy the last couple of days of your, your I want to call it a lockdown, but please, I need to ask you, great teams, you need to be safe. Please wear a mask wherever you go. Keep your social distancing a metre and a half. And please wash your hands. I cannot wait to see you in my prayers that we're together soon. May God bless you all and I hopefully will see you on Monday and Tuesday. Good morning and thank you, great teens.